this is Ben and thank you for joining us on the Semper Gumby channel. You know in this episode we are again going to talk about a lithium iron phosphate battery but this time we are going to talk about Garena Power's mini 12.8 100 amp hour lithium battery. Look how small this thing is. And before we start the video, we want to thank Greener Power for sending us this unit for testing and review. What I really like about these batteries, or the minis, that they are so small. And these have the same capacity of the Group 24 or full-size battery, but in a smaller package. And for me, when it's going in this van, um, I'm actually building the electrical system this weekend having a mini battery like this not only helps with weight but when you're building a van conversion every little bit of space helps so let's go check this battery out and i'm looking forward and excited to it greener power 12.8 100 amp hour mini batteries when i tell you that this battery is small it only is nine inches long and five five and a half inches wide and only eight inches tall so that's a really <laughs> small compact battery i'm going to grab another battery and i'm going to let you compare the size now this battery has the same power characteristics as the greener power and you can see how much longer a standard battery is and how much wider but you're looking about a third of the size and it puts out the same amount of power when when i'm building this van i'm going to put a microwave oven in the van and many of you thinking how can i power up a microwave oven or other electronic devices with just a small battery like this well you're going to need an inverter and right here is a 2000 watt inverter and this coupled to this battery should be able to power on a lot of the electronics that I plan to put in this van so we're gonna go ahead and hook this up we're gonna grab the microwave and uh, warm something up just to show you that uh, this little mini battery by greener power can handle the job all right gang what you see here is a 800 watt microwave oven i've got my 12.8 100 amp hour greener power mini battery and my lead time 2000 watt inverter this is the combination that will go here in the van i just need to build some uh storage area but i've got the plans all laid out i just need to put it in motion but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the battery to the inverter and all you need is some two gauge battery uh, terminal wires and you can get these on Amazon now the two gauge wire is rated up to 130 degrees okay first things first we're gonna remove the M8 bolts that come with the battery so when you purchase your battery from greener power you will receive a uh, M8 bolts. And they're just regular bolts. As you can see on my 2000 watt inverter, I have a positive and negative. So let's go ahead and hook up the negative and pardon the, the wire. I don't know why. Like I said, I've got a really long one uh, that I ordered can't remember why but the uh, let's go ahead and hook up the negative while we listen to the neighbor's lawn equipment then we're going to go ahead and wire up the positive side and you can get these cables on Amazon for fairly cheap but I recommend at least a two gauge. Okay. 
we don't need to crank down on it a whole lot just uh just a little bit tight because we're just going to do a testing of the microwave okay and then we're going to take the positive side and hook it up to our greener power battery let's turn this around so you guys can see all right so we're going to take our negative and hook it up to the battery okay we're going to power on our inverter so right now i'm showing 13 point uh let me see how many volts 13.4 uh, zero watts going out, so my inverter is working. Go ahead and take the microwave plug and plug it in to the inverter. And we just heard the microwave kick on. All right, I got everything hooked up, so I'm gonna heat up some steam dumplings. Well, just one because it's it's gonna be kind of close to dinner here in a little bit, but let's just uh, heat up one. And they're frozen and they're small but uh we're gonna go ahead and put one of them in there okay so we're gonna set this for two minutes so right now you can see i'm drawing 1046 watts off my inverter using my 12.8 100 amp hour battery the mini and we got the microwave going we got about a minute and 10 seconds left but uh the cables aren't hot actually it's done <laughs> oh no not quite so this is a setup i'm going to have in the van i'm going to have two of these 100 amp batteries don't know if i'm going to wire them up in series or parallel Ooh. Oh, we're gonna let that cool off. But as you can see, that this little mini powered up this microwave. And I'm gonna show you one more thing uh, before we dig into this battery a little bit deep. In the mornings, I love having my coffee, and especially if it's Semper Gumby coffee. I use a jet boil. And now that we are in the winter months, and sometimes because of it, it's so cold, I have a problem with the gas um, lighting off and boiling water. And if it's windy, that's another issue I had. I gotta find a place where I can put this jet boil where, those, uh, where there's no wind. So what I've been using in the, in the winter is my Juul. And this is an electric heating uh, element. And this boils water but it uses electric uh, power or electricity. So I'm gonna sh show you on this. This usually draws about 500 watts of power and we'll verify it on the inverter. But uh, let's boil some water and see if this little battery can handle it. But before that, let's bite into our little dumpling. Mm. Mm. Delicious. So like I mentioned, this jewel is awesome. Sorry, I'm talking with food enough. So if we look at our inverter, four hundred and seven watts um, off the jewel. Now the jewel, when it's in the drink mode, it'll when it's done boiling, it will do an auto shut off, and I can hear it boiling right now and you probably can see it boiling so it will be shutting off in just a second and there it goes it just shut itself off so showing zero watts now out of the uh on the inverter coming out of the battery so 
another piece of equipment that has handled handle itself on this battery as you can see the greener power 12.800 amp hour batteries along with this inverter handled the cooking in the microwave at 1000 watts it also boiled water through my jewel at 500 watts this little orange box right there is my new diesel heater and the diesel heaters a lot of them come with a 12 volt uh, plug uh, cigarette lighter and most power stations only have believe it's up to 10 10 amps uh, on their cigarette lighters well this for most of the diesel heaters I say majority of them take 15 amps to start it to get those glow plugs running and a lot of power stations uh, can't do it because the cigarette lighter is only 10 amps so another option is to have it hooked up to the mini uh, greener power battery and that way I can get this diesel heater running I still haven't mounted it I still haven't put diesel in it so I won't be able to show you today to test it that'll come at a later date but I just wanted to show you that with my inverter and the battery um, I'll be able to stay warm this winter during our winter camping series so let me tell you about the greener power mini 12.8 100 amp hour battery it's a lipo 4 battery which is a lithium iron phosphate and it's the mini size is just ultra light you can't believe how light this thing is it has a 100 amp bms meaning protection uh, and it's maximum of 1200 watt hours now this thing has a charging uh, cycle from 4,000 to 15,000 cycles and it's a 10 year lifetime it's perfect for a trolling motor um, your boat your RV or a solar system and this thing when I say it's light it only weighs less than 21 pounds it's 75 percent lighter than a regular uh, acid battery 75 percent um, and with it being so small like I said I need every inch of space while building up this conversion van and I plan to put two or three of these uh, to have between 200 and 300 amp hour po of power in this van now when I say that this battery has BMS protection it has five protection measures and one of them is a high temp protection if the battery starts getting hot it will shut itself down it has a short circuit protection an overcurrent protection um, it also has an over discharge and an overcharge protection so five protection measures built into this battery and most lithium batteries now come with BMS but the really cool thing is this is still a hundred amp discharge so I can put even if I don't have a greener power battery I have another 12.800 amp hour 100 amp discharge I can wire them in series or parallel and if you decide you want to put this in your uh, boat for your trolling motor it suggested that this works with a 30 to 70 pounds trolling motor so this battery is built to take the beating on the water and the bouncing and protection from the salt water you know their IP65 so um, it's a pretty versatile battery when I mentioned that this battery can cycle between 4,000 and 15,000 cycles I meant that if you discharge this battery from zero and charge it back to 100% you can do it 4,000 cycles if you're doing it at 80 percent bring it down to zero charge it back up to 80 you have 6,000 cycles and if you're doing it at 60 percent DOD you have 15,000 cycles and that seems to be the the norm across on lithium batteries right now now the warranty on this battery is amazing um, greener power is committed to becoming a professional brand on the road to new energy and environmental protection they provide a five-year warranty for the 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery and their service team will help analyze your questions they're available 24 hours but a five-year warranty with a 10-year battery life that is just amazing now the regular sized 
12.8 amp battery is selling for $239, but the Mini is only $10 more and you're saving the weight and the size and you can pick this up on the Greener Power Amazon store for $249. If you're looking for a smaller battery that has the same capacity as its larger counterparts, check them out on their Amazon store. I will put the link and the information in the description box below. Um, I appreciate your comments. If you got any questions, feel free to pop them in and I'll answer them the best I can. But as you saw, that this makes a great addition to an RV, camper, or just emergency energy uh, if you need it. You know, and a power down, uh, power grid goes down. This is a great thing to have along with the inverter. So anyway, again, we want to thank Greener Power for sending us the 12.800 amp hour mini battery. It's going to go in the van. I can't wait till we get it all set up, but uh, highly recommend it. Until the next video, thank you for watching. This is Semper Gumby out.